Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the topic of weight loss after 40. It can be a bit overwhelming with all the information out there, so let's break it down and keep it simple. First, let's talk about the metabolism myth. Many people believe that metabolism doesn't change until age 60, but that's not entirely true. As we get older, our hormones start to fluctuate, impacting our metabolism. Estrogen and testosterone play vital roles in burning fat and building muscle. So, as they change, it can affect how our body processes calories. One of the essential things to focus on is muscle mass. Starting at age 40, we naturally begin to lose some muscle, especially if we aren't using it. Muscle is like our metabolic Spanx. It helps boost our metabolism and acts as a sponge to absorb the carbs we eat. So it's crucial to keep track of our muscle mass to ensure we maintain a healthy metabolism. Hormones also play a significant role in weight loss after 40. As estrogen levels drop and cortisol rises, it becomes easier to store fat, especially around the waist. So if you're noticing some belly fat creeping in, it might be due to these hormonal changes. Another factor to consider is the thyroid. It can start slowing down as we age, impacting our overall energy and weight management. If you suspect thyroid issues, it's essential to consult with a doctor. Now, let's bust some weight loss myths. Number 6. You don't need to eat a strictly plant-based diet to lose weight. As we age, we actually need more protein, which is essential for muscle maintenance and fat burning. So, incorporate a mix of animal protein and plant-based foods to ensure you're getting the right nutrients. Number 5. Juice cleanses are not the answer. To detoxify properly, Focus on clean protein, colorful plants with fiber, and drink plenty of water. Juice cleanses might cause more harm than good by releasing toxins without proper amino acids to remove them. Number 4. Ketosis isn't a black and white approach. The key is to focus on lowering insulin levels to access stored fat. Lowering carbohydrate intake and incorporating resistance training can help achieve this. Number 3. Being in a caloric deficit doesn't mean you have to restrict your food drastically. Start by tracking your macronutrients and quality of food. Focus on adding nutrient-rich foods before cutting back. Slow, sustainable changes are more effective for long-term weight loss. Number 2. Intermittent fasting can be useful, but it's not necessary for everyone. Find the right timing that works for you. Time-restricted eating within a 9-12 to hour window can be beneficial, and occasional intermittent fasting can be included. Number 1. The best fat burner is muscle. Focus on resistance training and high-intensity interval training to build muscle and improve insulin sensitivity. Muscle is your metabolic powerhouse. So remember, weight loss after 40 is achievable with the right approach. Prioritize muscle building, hormone balance, and make gradual, sustainable changes to your diet and lifestyle. Stay consistent, and you'll see great results. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.